Edge. I pulled for Edge. Uh, 150 tickets, got his LD. Have not maxed him out yet. He is not necessary whatsoever for this stage. This, um... I don't know if it's just because we're on the heels of Transcendence. You know what? No, it's not. Even if we weren't, this stage is a joke. Completely. Um, one big reason for that. The Queen is Synergy. So... Yeah, um, just bring her, and you kind of just cut through everything. This orb, you deal HP damage to all targets at once. Doesn't even matter how much HP damage. Just hit them all with HP damage, orb goes up. Thunder damage, orb goes up. Cake. This one is, uh, there's really not much to say about this one. Barely anyone is going to watch this video, because no one's really going to need help with this, I don't think. I mean, okay, I, don't, I won't say no one, but most people aren't going to be like, damn. Transcendence 9, I mean, that was tough, but the Edge Intertwined Will is really what's getting me stuck. Like, said no one ever. No one's going to say that. And it's the CPU again. How many times have we fought this fucking thing? I'm getting sick of it. I'm sure you guys are too. So, well, let's just power through it and get it done. Shinryu is on its way. Let's just get through this stuff until we get there and just, just power through it at this point. Let's just... Let's just move on, please. We're so close. We are so very close to an increase in difficulty, which we desperately need in this game. My God. I will bring out Sice eventually, but not until a red health, because at red health, at least with the big guys at red health, they cleanse all the debuffs and buff themselves with framed buffs. Garnet doesn't give a shit. She cuts right through it. Not a big deal. I think that's their attempt at selling Vincent PT, because that burst effect will prevent those buffs, but it's Garnet, man. Like, she doesn't care. She just doesn't care. And that is the only reason I left Selfie in as long as I did, because after they cleansed, I wanted to reapply her debuff and then get her out of there. So she's going to stick around for a little while and then Sice is going to come in. But I didn't expect this buffing at the end because I really, what I really wanted to see was have all these launches go off with, you know, the Garnet goodness, the Noctis follow-up, with the Sice follow-ups all at once, but they were kind of full on uh, buff debuff slots. At least the middle one was. The one on the left was still taking it, because for some reason, they gave this one on the left a lot more health than the one on the right. Like, I thought they'd be worn down evenly. They're not at all. Like, this one on the left has way more health than the other one, but, I mean, it's, again, it's really not a problem. Like, they're already at 66% and we just got out of the Noctis Burst phase. So yeah, this this one ain't, ain't so bad. Okay, I'd rather you not jump, so we're gonna just pop an LD to keep everything in line. Pulse coming up. Um, I have not thought about it nearly as much as most people I talk to in this game. All I know is uh, King is coming up, and King is shit. Hate to say it. I loved King in the Chaos era. I, I really did. Like getting that King EX, I've used him a lot more than I thought I would. He was super fun. They didn't really do him justice this time around. It really felt like they just kind of threw some gun at him to be like, okay, whatever. You're the last, you're the last character we forgot about. Okay, here's a new gun. Fuck you. It's Shinryu time. That's what it feels like they did to him. They did give Edge uh, counterattacks and stuff, which is pretty cool. I want to mess around with him some more though. Again, I got his stuff. I haven't built him yet, but I've always really liked Edge ever since uh, he got his EX, which would be, wow, yeah, um, Ultimate Pandemonium with Pinello. That's how long ago that was, my god. Edge was um, one of those characters I used a lot back in the day for TCC challenges when I first discovered them. The team I was using a lot back then was Lael, Rem, and Edge, until TCC decided to ban Edge from basically everything, <laughs> because he's completely overpowered, so... At least he was back then. I was like, okay, you know what? I, I gotta get him out of here. Because I had no choice. But Edge was great. Super fun to use. And I'm not gonna lie. I know people really like the Edge alternate costume. I do too, but not the hair. I like the spiky hair better. If they could combine his alt outfit with his original spiky hair, that I'd be all about that. I think that'd be the perfect combination. It, whatever. Whatever, though. Yeah, I mean, Christ. 37%. We kind of just got here. I don't think I ever used that other Reigns call. I probably should have just used it. I mean, why the hell not, right? Just 
A little bit of extra damage, more follow-ups and stuff. I should have just pressed it. But that's okay. Alright, so now I just wanna get I just wanna get you. Yeah, here. We'll do this. Because this should get you underneath. Yeah. There we go. So you'll see what I'm talking about. Now that he is in the red, he's going to cleanse everybody and rebuff. But that's okay. It's not really uh, anything to worry about. Which means the one in the middle lo lost uh, the launch. He cleansed the debuff. But these guys still had launches available because we've been smacking them around. So we'll just launch you. Selfie can reapply the debuff, and she will get out of here and place precise in the summon. And that will be that. One thing I will say, and maybe other people will have different opinions and suggestions on this, but I'm going to make a suggestion. If you are a person who was around when Garnet's BT banner first came out, if you're in one of those weird positions where you pulled and you're like, oh, I got the BT, but not the LD. Oh, no. Pull on this banner and get this fucking LD. Because, because you have the BT already. Can't stress that enough. If you have the Garnet BT already and not the LD, don't skip this banner. Get Garnet's LD. Especially if you're someone who doesn't really have a rounded out roster. Oh my god, get Garnet. She will be your savior. Seriously. I know Shinryu is coming and we're supposed to save and stuff, but th th this character is, is going to be very, very good for for a long time. So I would I would highly recommend uh, getting your LD. If you, if you have the BT and you missed it the first time around. I cannot stress that enough. If you have no means of getting Garnet's BT, I, w I would not bother pulling them. That, that would be my suggestion. But anyway. Selfie is going to get out of here in just a second. So yeah, see what I'm saying about the health distribution? 3% versus 38%. Oh, excuse me. Dead versus 35%. So we're going to target you. Only this kind of sucks because... Again, the one on the right is already stacked with all the frame debuffs we could imagine, so they do not get the size follow-ups. But that's okay because he is at 2% anyway, excuse me, 4% regardless. So we'll just target this one on the left still. Sice's extra damage will help out a little bit. We didn't need to bring Sice in, we really didn't, but I figured Selfie had already served her purpose. Why not bring her in? And you don't usually see, at least I don't see, Five out of five Ultima weapon size friends, but Sky Splits had one, so thank you Sky Splits for your perfect size. I wanted to try her out. I do really like her. I think she's fun to play. I was gonna maybe bring her to the Reckoning. That that was kind of my original plan was to bring her until I realized that Galif got C90. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I cannot say no to Galif. Like, no way. This was completely unnecessary. I just wanted an extra launch, because why the hell not? There's no threat anymore anyway, so we really can kind of just play around. Like, he's not even targeting us. What's he going to, what, buff himself or heal himself? He's not going to do anything. He's going to die. He's a lone CPU minion programmed to just heal. So you dead. You, you can't do anything. That Leo effect lasted long enough, but unfortunately it went away right before all these single target attacks. This would have been sweet <laughs> if the Leo buff was on still, but no need. Size do the honors. Like I said, there is not much to say about this stage at all. So maybe like 100 people will watch this <laughs> and that's it. I don't blame anybody. Perfect score, though. I'll take that. But hey, thanks for watching.